Wild Witch, and I am here today for our live video. Um, I hope that uh, we are able to, uh, I have a new platform I'm trying out today. So I was with a platform called StreamYard, and I'm trying out today with a platform called um, uh, Restream. So let's hope that everything works the way it's supposed to. But this is the only way that I could get this to broadcast also live at um, Instagram as well. So if you are on Instagram, just be aware that you're a little bit behind. Um, also, you will not be able to um, uh, send to type any messages. So if there's anything you see that you want to claim, make sure you message and respond back to me on that. So um, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I want to say, just some general information, as you all know, um, is that uh, we want to make sure that we uh, everything that you purchase here today from here until next Monday, you still get your discount off of it. Hey, Tricia. Good. So I am seeing messages. Um, you get 10% off for any purchase that you make from this video from today until Monday. Um, I'm going to have my Instagram messages open. So if you want to purchase something and you can't type it on Instagram, you'll be able to at least send me a message and hopefully I will be able to see that. Um, uh, let's see. I got two messages already. Oh, these are not. Okay. So... Sorry about that. So anyway, so anything you see here today, you're going to be able to purchase from for the whole week and get the 10% discount. Everything can be shipped to the U.S. Uh, for free. If it's international shipping, we uh, need to uh, we do have to charge shipping, unfortunately, because it's way too expensive. Uh, but we can uh, make sure that we keep things together for you and ship it off in batches so that you save on shipping. So that's another thing we can do. And last but not least, um, anything that you see here today you can also pay using Afterpay. So that's an awesome um, option for you guys as well. So Afterpay will take any pay, any purchase that you make and divide it up into four different um, uh, purchases, basically, four different payments so that you can really, really make sure that you're doing, you know, uh, spending just what you want to spend, not too much. So let's hope that uh, this is working. I see... Trisha is uh, saying hello from Facebook. Can, do we have anybody watching on YouTube that could maybe say hello from YouTube so I can see if YouTube is working? Um, but, you know, just I'll keep going just in case. Um, and if you're watching on Instagram, send me a private message to let me know that um, a private message on, on the Raven Moon Emporium account to let me know that it is working for you as well. So, um, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. So as we spoke in our live today in the, um, uh, the Witches Inn, we, uh, we were going to talk about he tools for your healing rituals. So we talked about healing ceremonies yesterday, how you would work with them, why you would need them. And so for today, I wanted to just have some actual hands-on samples so you guys could see some altars that could be set up using some of these tools. So now keep in mind, every altar that I set up, I put a lot of things on it. These are all things that would be appropriate on a healing altar. They are by no means everything that you would need to have in a healing altar. So keep that in mind. So first we're going to start back here and we're going to start with this area back here. And this area here is going to be, um, and this is, this is the camera right there. I got to make sure that I stay close to that to, so that people on Instagram can see it. So this back here is what we're going to start. And this altar right here is set up for physical healing. And in particular, what I was thinking about when I did, when I set this one up was the healing of a pet, right? And, and for me, that's generally what I do because I do a lot of healing ceremonies for animals um, that are recovering in either rescue or in shelters or anything like that. So that's kind of what my go-to is. So if you'll notice, let me see if I can get this up a little higher. Um, let's see. So you guys may be able to see more. There you go. All right. There you go. So if you look here on this side, so this is the setup. So what I did is I put a slab down here on the bottom. This is once I'm done talking about all the other pieces, I will lift that up. So this is a slab of fluorite and it's a beautiful slab of purple and green fluorite both, which means that that slab can be used for any type of ceremony work for um, healing in the terms of physical healing, emotional healing, and also spiritual healing. So I love fluoride in that regard because it's kind of like a one-stop shop for that. 
So surrounding that, what I did is I did a candle. And every time you're doing a healing ceremony, you always want to make sure that you are doing it um, with a green candle. Or sometimes you can do a blue candle for physical healing. Generally, green candles is going to be your go-to. Um, you can substitute a red candle if your healing ceremony involves like boosting somebody's immune system or boosting their constitution in general. For example, somebody who's undergoing chemotherapy, red would be very appropriate color to help to keep their system ready to receive the medicine. So that would be one great thing. So I've got my candle here. Now what you could do is you could put a picture of the person that you're doing the work on. And that would either sit under the candle and under the crystals, or you can even put it under the slab as a whole. So you'll notice that all of these altars are sitting on different kinds of crystal slabs. That is just my method of creating altars um, for you guys, whatever works for you um, works. So it doesn't necessarily, you don't necessarily have to follow exactly what it is that I'm doing. So, um, so yeah, so let's talk about the center here. So here's our candle. And then I selected these four pieces of, um, these are quartz points. And the reason why I selected them is because quartz points, first of all, quartz is one of the best healing crystals, hands down. The second thing that quartz does is quartz is going to augment everything else that's sitting on your altar right now. So you definitely want to have a piece of quartz there. The reason why I like quartz points is because they direct energy to a certain location. So in this case, I have all the points pointing inward. So the focus of this is going to take all the energy that's sitting on this altar, drive it into the candle so that when you light the candle and you release it, then all of that work is being released into the universe. So these points here, let me pull them all together for you guys. They're really uh, very handy. If you don't have um, some quartz points at home that you're working with, you should have a set that you use for all types of grid work because they're really, really handy. Um, these are eight bucks each if you want any of them. We have plenty of those in stock. I think a Quartz point should be a must-have tool for anybody to have in their um, gemstone collection. It's nice to have tumbled or to have like just the clear natural rose quartz, I mean clear quartz, but a point like this is extremely handy because you can use it for so many other things. So these here are going to be $8 each. I'm going to put this aside here as we deconstruct what I did back here. So the other two pieces that I have here, um, and these are obviously ones that you can keep these or you can substitute them. Um, these are basically mukite stones and I love mukite. Uh, some people call them mukite jasper, but they are not a jasper. They come from the mukite area actually, hence the name in Australia. And they're actually more similar to opals than anything else. They're generally collected from the bottoms of like bays and uh, dried up lakes and things like that. Uh, and they are formed with a combination of a petrification process, similar to how opals form at the bottom of large bodies of water. So it's a similar process. Uh, one of the things that I love about mukite, uh, let's see if I can get a closer look for you guys. Uh, mukite is fantastic healing crystal. It brings all of that water element in for the work that you're doing. And it works really well for people who have long-term illness, for somebody who had a stroke and is going through recovery, somebody who's had cancer and is going through recovery, um, somebody who has, let's say, MS or who has lupus or anything like that, where somebody's dealing with a chronic problem where they have to keep going back for treatment. This is a great crystal to support overall health of the body and to, for, to keep the body in a position where it's receiving that treatment in a better way. So these little pieces here of mukai, they're gonna be $6 each. They're nice and big, as you can see them. They're really pretty, very gemmy. Um, mukai's generally gonna appear in several different colors. You can have it in like reds, uh, like you have here. You can have them in yellows. You can have all kinds of different um, shades, basically, with mukai. And, um, and they're always beautiful because they're so different. They kind of look like Jasper. So I could see why people would call them Jasper, but they're definitely not Jasper. So this is why I would add that so that this is long-term, especially if you have somebody who had a traumatic situation, let's say a car accident, there's going to be a long-term recovery. And I generally whip out the Mukite at that point. Do you have a preference, Trisha, on which one you want? of these two that I have up here, any preference? And for those of you who are watching on Instagram, you're gonna be delayed by about 15 seconds. So I apologize um, if we move on and start talking about something else. I'll go back and, and respond to your question if you private message it to me. Um, did you have any preference? You got this number one here, this is number two, whichever one you prefer. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put these aside for now. And as soon as you know, let me know. 
Um, the next thing I want to share with you guys. So then I added two other crystals to this, which um, I'm in the forms of hearts and in the, yes, the one in, so you want this one here. So I will set this one aside for you. Um, so the other thing that I wanted to include here is I included, I love heart shapes for healing just because it brings like this whole idea of um, I'm sending love and, and healing to somebody, right? So the heart, it comes from the heart. So that's why I love to use the heart shape just because it reinforces that energy. This is a heart shape of um, a mazonite. And I don't know if you guys can see, but this is a really, really nice piece. And do you see that sheen? Look at all that sheen that it's got. I'm going to turn off this overhead light because it doesn't allow you guys to see crap. And I'm going to turn on this light here. Um, hopefully you guys can see it a little bit better. Um, so there you go. Hopefully you can see that sheen. Look at that. It's so gemmy. So this is a really nice high grade piece of amazonite and amazonite is going to be great for healing on all levels but it also provides that emotional support for going through difficult times which is the reason why i selected this especially if you're doing healing ceremonies for animals a lot of times they can't speak they don't they can't tell you that they're experiencing trauma and this is a great crystal to kind of help support the overall physical healing so this piece here would be eight dollars for this little um heart, i mean excuse me not eight, eighteen dollars for this little heart right here and the other one that i included also another heart is a carnelian heart and the reason why i like this is because carnelian is going to boost your physical capabilities of of being healthy. So it's going to boost your comp constitution. It's going to boost your immune system. It's just going to make you feel stronger. So this is another great option. And this one is also going to be $18. And that's why I included it in this healing kit. Um, while I'm at it here, let me show you this uh, slab since everything else is off of it. So this is a gorgeous, gorgeous slab. You can see this is a uh, fluorite. And it's got, um, I'm going to pull that off to the side a little bit. So it's, if you can look at it, it's got the green. It's got, um, actually, it even has a little bit of blue. I don't know if you can see it through the camera. I can see it without the camera right here. There's a little bit of blue that goes in over there. It's got green everywhere. It's got the purple everywhere. This is a nice size to do ceremony on top of it. Um, great little base. It's also great if you want to take this and use it as a base in um, any type of bath ceremony. So you can sit this like on, a, on the side of your bathtub and put your incense and your candles and all of that in here. Lots and lots of uses for this guy. Um, this is going to be uh, 648 grams. So it's going to be just over a pound. And this guy here is $175. And remember, you're going to get your 10% off on top of that. So let's put that back there. Um, moving on. So I selected other options to sit around this altar as well. And the first one, once again, using the heart, I selected this guy. And this is a Druzy clear quartz. It's going to bring all of that healing energy. Clear quartz Druzy on top of an, a beautiful piece of black or dark gray agate. You can see the banding of the agate here on the sides. And what agate does is it supports like the whole body as it's going through change or through a difficult process. And healing is change, right? There was a trauma that was inflicted on your body and now your body is going to have to change that trauma into something more functional. So this is gonna be a great crystal to keep around to support that change happening. And if you're the person who's doing, who's in um, need of healing, this would be a great piece to keep next to your bed when you're recovering from surgery or if you're trying to recover from covid or anything like that oh trisha druzy heart okay 38 dollars for this guy and it belongs to trisha right now uh, let me see if there's any messages on instagram so far um i'm not seeing anything okay um the other thing I wanted to share with you guys today is going to be this other piece here that I really like. So this is a piece of hematoid quartz. And the reason why I love this is because look at it. It looks like it's got blood. It's got lots of flashing going on inside this little guy. The reason why I like this one is because it's small enough to be for just a ceremonial altar, but it still brings all of that hematite. Hematite um, a lot of times works in the root chakra. 
It can help to uh, strengthen the body and stabilize it in order to receive healing. But it also helps with people who are undergoing any types of recovery a lot of times. Uh, they kind of have this feeling of nervousness and anxiety that comes in. And so this is going to be a great piece to help ground that. And of course, the quartz in there is going to boost all of that. So this is a cute little piece. It's a little free form. This guy is going to be only $28 and he is 180 grams. And remember, you're still going to get 10% off on top of that. Um, next, this is my, one of my all time favorite healing stones. And I actually mentioned this in the live yesterday, but this is a gorgeous piece of natural red jasper. You can see the natural piece right here. I love the texture of red jasper. And then here it's a generator. So it's all marked for, um, you know, it's six sides. So it can definitely be used as a center of a grid. Um, one of the things I like doing with a piece like this, I have a similar one to this at home, is when I do the healing work, I will put the person's picture under it and I will put clear quartz around it and put this right on top of it. That way I'm sending that energy in. So you could pair this up with the four different clear quartz points that I sold that I showed you guys earlier send the energy in for all types of healing to come through. So this would be a great option for that also. It boosts the constitution. It's great for people with blood disorder. So I'm a huge fan of this because I have severe anemia. But if you have somebody right now that's fighting leukemia or fighting any kind of blood disease, um, this is going to be a great piece to help them to get through it. And this guy here is a generator and he is $35. So very cute little, very powerful little generator and for a really good price. And you're still going to get 10% on top of that. Um, the next piece that I brought in also for healing is this beautiful giant gallet of um, garnet. So I love that. Garnet is going to be very similar to red jasper. A lot of times when you're doing physical healing, you're going to want, want crystals that work really well in the lower chakras. And this guy does. So I love this little guy here. He's $22, um, very heavy as most garnet is. Um, this is going to be another great thing for you to use for yourself. You can even carry this in your purse if you want to, if you're, uh, you're the one that's going to, through recovery. Um, it's going to boost your constitution. It's going to give you get up and go and drive and all of that. So highly recommend a beautiful piece like this. And this one is only 22 and you get 10% off. And of course, we wouldn't be complete talking about healing without talking about lapis. And first of all, I love these pieces. I got this at the Les Gym Show and I can't wait to go to the next one because we got um, such high quality lapis last time that I was really, really impressed with it. So this is a nice piece of lapis. It's kind of a slab. It's nice and thick. You can even use this piece to do some spell work on it and put the candle on top of it right there if you wanted to. Um, you can see it's got the little pyrite back there, but mostly it's that beautiful lazurite blue that's that lapis is famous for. This one is $60. It's nice and thick and hefty, um, and it would be great for all types of both emotional, uh, spiritual, and physical healing. So healing on all levels is one of the big things that um, lapis is going to help you with. And then remember yesterday we were talking about different tools. Sometimes you would have tools that you would use for healing. So for today, I brought one of the tools that I brought is this little guy. I love him because he's so little. So if you have a small space or you're just starting out with um, sound healing, this would be a great option. You can hear the sound. Nice and gentle. Uh, let me read up the name of this guy. This is obviously one of Autumn's pieces. And this guy here is called Elemental. And it's going to have a lot of really, really important healing. So first of all, you've got the sea urchin right there at the top. And the sea urchin is going to be very connected with all of that water medicine. Plus, it connects to the life force of the planet, right? Anytime you're using any type of fossil or shell or any item that was made from a part of an animal at one point when they were alive, those are going to basically allow you um, to connect with the life force of the planet. So this connects with that directly. This is driftwood right here, which also brings that little water component in. Um, she's got a beautiful quartz point right there to direct your work. Remember, quartz is the ultimate healing stone. Um, there's a piece of petrified wood also. Um, let's see. The petrified wood is down here. If you guys can see that right there. Uh, there's also going to be some tiger's eye. Um, oh, 
This is the red tiger's eye all around there. Red tiger's eye is going to also work in the um, root chakra. It's going to connect once again to the stamina, to your blood directly. So it's going to support all of that. Amber right here, which once again connects to the life force of the planet and connect to your ancestors if you need to call on them for help. And then, um, oh, let's see, where is the amber? Sorry, this is not amber. This is a Mexican fire opal. And you can see the amber is, I think it's down here. Yep, it's down there. So this is a gorgeous piece. And then it's going to have pheasant medicine right there. Think about pheasant being all about nourishment, um, all of that. This little guy here is only going to run $133. And it's a great piece. Now, why would you want to use a rattle for healing work? So the reason why you would want to use a rattle for healing work is because what a rattle does is it breaks up stagnant energy. So if you're healing, like when I'm healing with a client, when I'm working on somebody and I'm trying to remove you know, clumps of energy that stuck to their system, to their aura, and it won't come off, I will use a rattle to go in there and use that sound. That vibration is going to break up that stuff that's causing a problem, causing a barrier that doesn't really want to let go. So you, this is a great piece for that. Um, plus, this is nice and small, $133 minus your discount, perfect for a small space. Um, and then the last but not least that I wanted to include in this section here would be a bath, right? Any type of healing that you're doing, whether it be mental, emotional, spiritual, physical, what have you, water magic is gonna be beautiful for that, right? So this is gonna be a vitality bath. So this is gonna be to strengthen your physical body. This is one of the things that you're gonna do. It has um, a red jasper in it. It's for energy and stamina. The other thing you can use this bath for, for is if you are feeling just like you're exhausted, from stress, like that stress exhaustion that we all feel when we're like, we just can't take anymore. This is a great bath just to kind of replenish yourself, replenish those reserves, add this in. And once again, this is a ceremonial bath. So you're only going to use about two tablespoons of it at a time when you're adding it in. It's not a spa. You don't want to throw the whole jar in there. So it's going to last you quite some time. And this guy here is only $16 and it too is on discount for 10% if you get it today. Um, so let's move down here. The other, oh, here's another piece that I wanted to include for um, physical healing. And this is going to be Zavia. I paired one of her bracelets with each one of the altars. This one here is fluorite and it is $20. And it's got mostly green fluorite, which is fantastic for either heart healing or physical healing. So you can just wear your, if you want to carry the, the work with you, you can enchant this bracelet for your healing magic and then just wear it with you so you can wear your ceremony basically every day. Another piece that I wanted to include for a healing altar that I think is beautiful and wonderful. I have one of these at home actually that I use from time to time when I feel called to. Um, this is basically a gorgeous piece of natural fluoride. So if you've never seen it, this is how it forms. This is, you know, the interesting thing is this shape that it's got right here, right in there. See how it's got like the... Um, uh, tilted um, octahedrons. This is a natural shape that fluoride forms in uh, when it's growing. You know, it's 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 crystal. Um, uh, what do you call it? habit is going to form this way every single time. So this is a natural fluoride cluster. It's green, and you can see down here on this side, you almost have a perfect pyramid naturally formed. It's a little perfect octahedron right there. It looks like a pyramid from this side, and if you look from this side, you can see the other pieces of it. Gorgeous, gorgeous piece, uh, especially if you like working with um, uh, all types of sacred geometry. This is going to be helpful. Great piece for healing because it's green. And this little guy here is only $40 for you guys today. And you get a discount on top of it. Um, so that's all that I had in that altar section. So now let's move on to down here. So this this section here that I'm showing you guys, I'm going to see if I can move this over a little bit also. Oh, now this is too high. Uh, let me see if I can lower it down a little bit. There you go. And so now um, this section here is going to be all about uh, emotional healing. So as you can see, I am using my base is a piece of chalcedony 
It's a beautiful chalcedony plate right here. And I'm going to do the same thing I did with the others, right? As I go through, I'm going to pull these things off and then I'm going to put them all back on there um, for you guys to uh, be able to, so I can lift this up and show it to you guys. Let me put these back here to where they belong. These are the ones that have not sold yet. All right, so here what we have is I decided to do a gemstone grid. So this would not be with a spell. This would be just a plain old grid um, that you would be able to use. Grids can be very powerful if you're going to leave them up for long term. I recommend gemstone grids when you are doing work for self-love, self-care, trying to repair um, your, your ability to love again, especially if you're out of a very bad relationship, to be able to trust in yourself and have trust in others, all of those things. I think crystal grids are best because you can set them up and then you can keep visiting it the whole month as you do your work for that month. So this is why I selected this. So what I selected for this, um, put this one here aside. So at the very center, this is a mangonel calcite point. And um, hopefully, let me see, I can move this over to the sides now so you guys can see it better. This is a beautiful mangonel calcite point. It's got a little bit of banding in it. Uh, you can see some of the manganese in there. Um, this is only $15. It is, uh, let's see, is it a generator point? No, this one is not a generator point. I think some of them are and some of them are not from this one. This one in particular is not. But it is a point that it can still move energy around for you. So this would be the focus crystal. This would be the master crystal in your grid where you would tell it exactly what it is that it want, that you want it to do. So the way that this would work is this, this crystal here is going to bring together the energy from all the other crystals that are sitting on this grid. Right. So it's like each one of these crystals have this individual function, but they all funnel their energy in into your master crystal. And this is how grid setup takes place. So the master crystal is going to sit in the center and this is um, fifteen dollars and it is uh, mangano calcite. And then I included these beautiful, cute little rose quartz hearts. I saw these at the last time we went to our big vendor in Asheville and they were so adorable. I couldn't help myself. So let me put these out here for you guys to take a good look at them. They are $9 each, but these are perfect when you're doing any type of work that you want a heart, but you want a little one because you just have a little bit of space. This is also good to carry with you. People like to stick things in their bras a lot of times. Um, this would be a nice size to put it in your bra to carry it with you to always remind you of the work that you're doing, specifically for self-love. So I selected four of these because I like to put things in even numbers in my grids, but you can do however you want to do. Um, these are $9 each. Um, and then the next thing that I selected is I selected four of these um, red capped amethysts. And what red capped amethyst is, is going to be a crystal that has amethyst in it. And then on the cap here where you see the red, this is all hematite. So what this does is it makes a fantastic crystal for stress relief. And anytime we're going through emotional um, healing, we're anxious. We're like in our most anxious ever when we're going through that. So this makes it a lot easier for you to go through this process and not feel quite as anxious and be able to carry these with you. So these are going to help to first uh, ground a lot of energy that is not needed. That's going to cause a lot of the anxious feelings you're going to have. And then the amethyst in it is going to bring that peace, calm, and serenity to it to kind of bring you to a place where you can actually process the things that you're working on. Um, I particularly love uh, red capped amethyst for any type of grief work. If you're grieving the loss of a relationship, if you're grieving the loss of a loved one, any type of um, grief work that you're doing, this would be a fantastic piece for it. So these are going to be $6 a piece. Very, very cute. Um, the uh, next thing that I selected for this is opalized citrine. So these are citrines and they have that uh, opalized coating on the outside of it. So they're going to have rainbows on it. I don't know if you can see them here. Hopefully you can. Um, so what happens with opalized citrine, when you have that extra coating in there, it's just going to up the energy vibration of that crystal. And this is why I selected these instead of normal citrine. So what citrine does is number one, it works in your uh, solar plexus chakra. It helps you to boost self-confidence. It helps you to get a sense of identity, a sense of who you are, to accept the energy that you have. But citrine is also a great purifier. So it's going to help remove the negative self-talk. It's going to help to remove all of the negativity that you may be feeling um, during um, any kind of um, 
work that you're doing like this. A lot of times we have to let go of these old behavior patterns to be able to accept something new. And the opalized citrine is going to be a great option for that. These are going to, I only included two of these in the grid. These are going to be $5 each and they're beautiful. They have their energy is so great. It feels so wonderful. And last but not least, I selected four pieces of crackle quartz to include in this grid. And I think to me that is important because it represents, see crackle quartz, what it is, it's going to have all of its like, um, it's basically also known sometimes as rainbow quartz because you're going to be able to put it up to the sun and you're going to see all kinds of rainbows in it because what they've done with it, they heated up the quartz really, really hot and then they quenched it. They, once it was really hot, they put it into um, a cold bath. And so the crystal cracked all on the inside. To me, what this reminds me of is that all broken things can be healed. No matter how cracked and broken you are, you can still be healed into a whole, into something different. And once again, it's still quartz. It still has all of those uh, wonderful quartz um, feelings that, that it brings in terms of healing and all kinds of stuff like that. So it's still gonna have all of that. Um, and these are gonna be $4 each, sorry. And now I'm going to show you this beautiful slab right here. This is a slab of blue chalcedony. And the reason why I love this, um, I need to turn off my, my Facebook messages are going berserk right now. Hold on. Okay. Um, the reason I selected this is because blue chalcedony is one of the best crystals to bring peace and calm. It also is great for attracting your spirit guides. So if you're reaching out for help, a lot of times in terms of help getting yourself back to where you were before is going to require help, spirit help to get you to where you were. So I love blue chalcedony. It's such a peaceful crystal. It brings love and peace and all of that into whatever work you're doing. And what better way to put your entire grid on top of this and basically ground everything that you're doing for your ritual for emotional healing into peace and calm and uh, finding a, a play, a sense of um, uh, being in line and in balance with the world around you. So this would be a great piece for that. This is a gorgeous, and it's got, I love this one because look at this. It's got a beautiful little druzy in the center. Um, this one here is 824 grams, which means he's going to be just a, at a pound. Um, excuse me, just at two pounds, not a pound. And it is $270. But remember, you get 10% off and you can also use um, Afterpay if you're interested. So put these back, some of these back at least. Um, the next other things that I selected to go with this, we're going to start up here first, is a rose quartz flame. And I love this rose quartz flame because this, this indicates passion and it's bringing, it's kind of um, reactivating your ability to love, to bring passion, to bring uh, something to be excited about, hope and joy back into your life. So this would be a great piece for an emotional healing altar. Rose quartz is going to work in the um, heart chakra. It's going to bring, it's going to be able to heal relationships. It's going to be able to heal your relationship with yourself as well. It's a great, great piece for all types of healing. And this guy here is only $95 and you get 10% off and you can pay with Afterpay. The other one that I decided to select for this is going to be Blue Appetite. You guys know Blue Appetite is one of my favorites. I, I talk about Blue Appetite till I'm blue in the face. Ha <laughs> ha, blue in the face. But um, sorry very, very bad pun. Um, this is a great crystal that supports self image. So this is something that is crucial. If the work that you're doing is for self love, for self acceptance, if that is the emotional work that you're doing, this piece is going to be very, very helpful for that. So blue appetite supports self body image also. So if you're like, if you have a bad opinion of yourself because of how you look, this can help you to kind of move past that. A lot of great things with this guy, $35 for this little guy. And you get also 10% off and you can use Afterpay if you'd like. The other piece that I wanted to include is a obelisk. Um, the reason why I like obelisks is because obelisks uh, have the square base, which is going to ground it firmly in the earth, especially when you're looking at black obsidian, which is the, one of the best grounding stones there is. Black obsidian offers protection. It offers grounding. 
It's a fantastic crystal for those with severe anxiety. Um, not highly recommended for those with severe depression. If you have severe depression and you're looking for a different crystal, you want black tourmaline. But um, for grounding, and now keep in mind, black tourmaline won't ground anything. It's a very high vibration crystal. So if you have anxiety, you don't want black tourmaline because it's going to push you even further up. So if you have anxiety and you're trying to ground, you want to use like maybe um, some smoky quartz or you can use some black onyx, black jasper. You can use black obsidian, whatever it is that you want. But if you have depression, you definitely want to use some higher vibration crystals. So in this case here, this is going to be great for um, especially somebody who's going through grief. It's going to give them through, go through that process to kind of null out some of that grief emotion to kind of help them to work through that process without getting overly emotional as they do that. Um, this little obelisk is $68. It comes from Brazil, my home country. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece of black obsidian black obsidian is one of those crystals that is very great for healing and often overlooked now there's a couple more pieces that i selected to go with this the first one is this blue rose quartz palm stone and this is one of what i have found as i start working with this more and more and look at this one here even has um, some hematite in it right in there you can see that so it's actually going to have um, three different crystals so the blue in this comes from the extra titanium that's trapped inside the stone, inside the matrix of the rose quartz. And that's why you get this bluish tint from it. Um, blue rose quartz is going to work in two chakras. It's going to connect your crown chakra along with your heart chakra. So what this allows you to do a lot of times is to kind of cut through all of those stories that we tell ourselves to justify our actions or to justify our outrage or our resentment and all of that, and really taking a very direct look on what it is that we are looking at. So I love this crystal for that very reason. When a lot of times we're, we're steeped in self-delusion, this is a great crystal that can help you to work through that. And the reason why I like it so much for that is because it's not very harsh. So you work through it in layers. So it kind of takes you through a process. Now, you're not going to get overnight results with it, but if you continue to work with it, it's going to get you there. I have started doing some shadow work after my surgery that I had some major, major changes in my life after that and realized that I had to make some changes in myself. And this has been the crystal that I've been using for it. And it's been extremely helpful for that. So I highly recommend this guy. Uh, this is once again, blue rose quartz palm stone. And this guy here is going to be $25. The next piece I selected is going to be a piece of Apache tear. Apache Tears, essentially what it is, it's black obsidian, you can see in there, that basically has been um, tumbled in a natural way, by normally by rivers or by other things like that. So it's always going to have this rough surrounding to it. And really what's important about an Apache Tear, which makes it what makes it unique and what makes it different than other stones, is that it was tumbled naturally just like this. And it's always going to have kind of like this hard feeling out here, but some of it's going to be smooth. So it's the idea that time can smooth out the edges of the grief that you're feeling. Time can eventually bring you back to a place of smoothness, a place of balance and a place of that. So this is why it's important. It's interesting because one of the things I'm seeing now is people selling Apache tears that are tumbled, like really, really smooth. And that's just black obsidian. That's not really an Apache tear. When you get an Apache tear, you want something that looks like this that is going to have kind of like that rough tumble that nature did itself. So parts of it are a little polished and parts of it are not. These are, once again, like I said, great for grief and, and handling things like that. A lot of women who, um, a lot of native women, a lot of times when they lose their husbands, they will carry this with them to be able to work through their own grief. So this is where the, the ideas and the stories of Apache Tears came from. Um, beautiful piece, $6 if you want to incorporate that into your altar. And the other piece that I brought in is I brought in a piece of pink thulite. So some of you may or may not have heard of pink thulite. It's something we carry here. This is a natural. You can see how the crystal is naturally very, very pink. Um, this crystal works in the heart chakra and in the root chakra. So it's really great for recovering from rejection. 
So if you're having, you know, if you're in a situation where maybe you got dumped by your partner or you asked somebody out, you were really nervous about it and you were rebuffed and now you're grieving over that, this is going to be a great piece to help you work through that. So it connects all of the physical process of things that actually happen to you into your heart chakra. So it helps you to work through it. This pairs beautifully with rose quartz. It pairs beautifully with um, um, this piece here, the... Um, uh, Sometimes I lose words, man. I hate getting old. Um, pink quartz, which is mangano cal calcite, not pink quartz, mangano calcite. So it pairs really well with that one as well. Um, oh, and this piece of thulite here, and we don't have a lot of this left. We can't get it all the time. So when we get it, we buy a lot. Um, this doesn't sell very fast, I think mostly because people don't know what it is. But um, this piece here, if you are interested in a pink, piece of pink thulite for your collection, is ten dollars and thulite is spelled t h u l i t e just fyi um so those are the pieces that i selected for that i have a necklace here that i also selected this is going to be another one of autumn's pieces and the reason why i selected this is because this is going to be also great for self-love so i love the fact that it's got this nice nifty little piece here of um rhodochrosite and then it's going to have, this is guinea hen feathers. It's going to have uh, rose quartz right there. Let me read the name of it and show you guys what it is. This one's called Deep Roots is the name. It's got ayahuasca medicine here, which is for purification, to seeing the truth behind things. It's going to have rhodochrosite, which is very powerful in the heart chakra. It's going to have a piece of, oh, this is actually kunzite, not rose quartz. Sorry, kunzite. Kunzite is kind of like rose quartz um, on steroids. Yes, I just saw your message, Trisha, and you can. Um, Kunzite works in the heart chakra. It's a powerful heart chakra stone. It helps, really helps with self-love and all of that. Very powerful crystal for that. Um, the other thing that this is going to have is snowflake obsidian. Remember, we talked about grounding as part of the healing to ground the negative self-talk and those negative emotions. So this basically has all of it. This little guy here is only $99 and you get 10% off on top of it. Great little option. If you're looking at other jewelry, the other thing that I also selected for the live today is going to be another Zavia bracelet of rose quartz. And this one here also has um, some beads that you can put either an essential oil or a fragrance oil. If you're working through any kind of heart, emotional things, you, um, I would recommend using sandalwood fragrance oil or rose fragrance oil. Good options on both of those for any types of healing. And this guy here is only $20. Um, this is another piece that I love. This is from another crafter we have here. This is a blue lace agate piece. Look at what beautiful slice she got. It's filled with druzy on the inside. I really, really love that. And it has a natural handmade leather wrap. So it looks very rustic. And I love it. I, it's because it has this kind of sh whole shaman vibe to it. Definitely has this. It brings, and just holding it, you can feel peace and calm and all of that. So it's a great, great piece. Um, this is, uh, the crafter's name is Saturn's Rings. Her stuff is selling like hotcakes. We love it. And this is only going to be 30 bucks if you're interested. So $30 for this beautiful piece. And the last piece that I wanted to bring you um, for all types of healing emotional healing in particular, is going to be pink opal. And for that, I have a necklace that, oops, I have it on backwards. Hold on, let me put this on here. This is alpaca silver. Like we talked about in the last live, one of the reasons why I love alpaca silver is that it never tarnishes. So this is going to be the pink stone you see here is pink opal. It's going to have cat's eye beads right here, which reflect the light really, really well. They're really pretty. Um, and this basically never tarnishes. This necklace is only $25 and you're going to get 10% on top of it as well. This is going to be a great piece to empower for doing self-work, especially self-healing. This is going to be a great, great item for that. Uh, let me move all of these back here. As we're getting ready to move into our next altar. Sorry, limited space here, unfortunately. So let's move on to our next altar. And our next altar is going to be that one right over there. And you can see here, right here. And this is the altar that we're 
putting together for all types of spiritual healing. So when, when would you need a spiritual healing? So um, I find that a lot of people who were very, very oppressed by their previous religious path. A lot of times they were in a very strict church or very strict type of any kind of religion or spirituality that really didn't allow you to be yourself and to express yourself to its fullest extent. So that's gonna be very restrictive and it's gonna cause a lot of spiritual damage that you're going to need to work through before you can start really progressing in your spiritual path. A lot of times uh, spiritual healing is gonna be if you have fear a lot of people start down this path, but then they're afraid. What if I see a spirit? What if I see a spirit guide? What if I see, how do I know if something good is bad? All of those things require some spiritual healing. And spiritual healing a lot of times is a matter of coming to a place of understanding that the things that you have a choice as to what energy you receive and how you process that energy. So you have a choice on um, you know, staying in one place or moving to another place. And so once you're able to understand that, it takes kind of a lot of the fear away to not be afraid of spirit when it comes into your life. And it helps you also all with discernment after a while. You're able to discern between things that feel really good and things that don't feel so good. So I'm gonna move these big pieces here out of the way so you guys can see this altar. So there's a few things that I selected for that. First of all, I selected this piece here and this is from Lapidify. I love her work. You guys know I'm a huge fan. This is Mahogany Obsidian and Copper. And you may be thinking to yourself, why mahogany obsidian? Mahogany obsidian is a fantastic protector of nights in terms of night terrors, nightmares, those kinds of things. So if you just started down your spiritual path and you're having nightmares, which is very common in the beginning, wear this when you go to bed. This will definitely help to keep the nightmares at bay. Uh, copper is also a healing metal that can kind of bring you peace and calm. Um, this little guy here is only going to be $28 and you are going to get 10% on top of it. Look at the beautiful work that she did on it. Look at the bale, how well it's done. This is all handmade guys. I love her work. Um, the next piece I wanted to show you is another piece by her uh, before we even get into the altar. And this, now I have to say guys, when I looked at this, I, I was pretty stunned. Look at this guys. This is a gorgeous piece of cherite. So this is cherite. Look at that. It's a beautiful polished little slab. The work she did around this to hold the crystal, look at the, look at the metal work on it. It is beautiful. The wrapping work is stunning. Um, cherite is a crystal that can only be found in one place in the world, and that's Russia. Um, it's mined in very small quantities at a time. So this is why cherite tends to be hideously expensive, but there's a reason for that. Cherite is a gentle stone that helps to open your third eye and helps you support as you're going through your spiritual journey. So it's a very critical stone for somebody going through that. Um, this piece here is going to be $210 cherite and sterling silver. So this, this is sterling silver. It's not just stainless or anything like that. But it's a gorgeous piece, and it has this black cord necklace. But you can see the work she did on this. It's beautiful. If you don't want it to be on this necklace, you can take the necklace, you can take the, the chain cord off and put a chain or whatever else feels good to you. Love this piece. Gorgeous piece. Um, another tool I wanted to talk about is going to be this one. This is another one of um, Autumn's pieces. And the reason I selected this is because I have a piece like this that I use for, I have actually almost an exact same one. It's got all the exact same components that I use for a lot of my spiritual healing that I'm doing either for myself or for other people. A lot of times if I'm trying to get through something, if I'm trying to meditate and I can't seem to get centered, I can't seem to kind of get myself to a calm state of mind, this piece will be very helpful. So this piece here, she named it Language of Light. Look at how beautiful it is, guys. And it's going to have a cholo cactus here in the middle. Um, cholo cactus helps you to let go of things that no longer serve you. Um, right here on the point, this is a piece of white agate. And what I love about it is, look at all the druzies it has on the inside. And mine at home has that too. That's the main, that's what drew me to this piece when I first got mine. Lots and lots of druzies, gorgeous piece. Um, it's also going to have on the tip here a piece of gerosol quartz, and it's got that bluish hint. Um, gerosol quartz actually has some water trapped in its matrix. 
Um, it's going to also have a piece of rainbow moonstone right there. Beautiful piece of rainbow moonstone. You can see there's a little bit of a blue flash down there. Um, and it's going to have howlite all around here, which is spiritual purity, bringing you to a pro spiritual protection, all of those things. And finally, this is a white turkey uh, feather. Turkey medicine, remember, we talk about that a lot. It's all about the giveaway. It's all about um, the kindness, the compassion, all of that, which are things that you need in order to open up that part of yourself. So this could be one of those tools that we talked about when you first get it, journey with it, um, see how what it, the tool is there for you. Um, and if you feel called to get this one today, um, she is only $122. And remember, her name is Language of Light. And as with all of her pieces, you're always going to get a card information explaining what that piece is all about. Love this piece. Um, moving on to the rest of what's on our altar here. So what I selected to put here on the base of this altar, because we're talking about emotional healing, instead of going with amethyst, because I have other amethyst on there, this is a slab of Super 7. So I love that you can see the phantom in it. Look at that. Um, it's going to have Super 7. Basically, the reason why it's called that is because it's got seven minerals in it. I don't remember off the top of my head which ones they were. But one of the big ones that's in it, obviously, is amethyst. But Super 7 is a very, very high-frequency crystal. And it helps you to get to those higher planes of existence if you're trying to do work with that. So this little slab here is going to be great for all types of, of um, uh, spiritual healing. Uh, it's only $184, 367 grams, so it's just under a pound. Um, those of you who know, Super 7 tends to be very expensive um, because it is so hard to find. It only comes from a few places in the world. It's not something that's available everywhere. Um, but if you're interested in this piece today, $184, and you can get 10% off of that. And you also will um, uh, can use Afterpay to pay if you want to. So looking at the other pieces that I put here on this altar. So first of all, let's talk about the bowl. So the reason why I added a selenite bowl, um, this bowl here, by the way, is $29. The reason why I added it is because a lot of times part of spiritual healing means reconnecting with your spirit guides or with your ancestors or with anybody that helps you from the spiritual plane. And this is a great way to do that. I like to put my notes, um, uh, messages that I'm going to do, I can put the message in here uh, for them. I, I roll it up, use some um, cord to tie it up real good, and I put my question in there uh, of what it is that I'm asking for. And I leave this in my spiritual altar until I get a response from it. So this was a little altar you can create and put it on the side of your main altar or create a separate area. If you have questions, this is something that you can also leave up all the time for your connection with spirit, right? Put on the Super 7. It's going to help. It's going to be that high energy vibration. On top of it, you have selenite, which connects directly through the crown chakra. Selenite is a fantastic energy mover that's going to move that energy all the way up to where it needs to go. So it's a win-win combo with these two pieces. The other things that I added to the side here, first of all, is a piece of Elestial. And the reason why I like Elestials is because they do a couple of things. Number one is they're great for protection. They connect us to our ancestors and they connect us to our inner core, our inner truth. So a lot of times part of working through spiritual healing is working through some shadow work. What are the preconceptions you have? What are the things that have happened to me in the past that I maybe don't want it to happen to me again? So there's a lot of reasons um, to have some um, uh, celestials working with you during this time. It also can connect you with past lives. A lot of times your, your spiritual trauma can be from a past life, not from this life. And this is going to be a great crystal to help you with that. We have them in many different sizes. So if you want a really big one, if you're like, I need a lot of work, <laughs> You want a big one? I can send you pictures. But these little guys work just as well. And this one here is only $10. I love, love, love Elestials. On the other side of this, I added a piece of very, very dark purple fluorite. Once again, remember from the live yesterday, we talked about purple fluorite. It's going to work in the upper chakras. This is going to be something that's going to allow you to be kind to yourself as you go through this, this uh, process. It's going to allow you to accept 
change and accept different points of view so that you can truly, by the time you're done and you heal it, you've truly undergone a healing and a change. You didn't just cover it up with a bunch of crap, which a lot of us tend to do sometimes. Gorgeous little piece, very natural. I have these in green and I have them in purple. I think I only have three in purple, uh, but purple is what I like to use for spiritual healing. I have a big giant piece of this on my spiritual healing altar that I use. So great, great option for that. Um, and so one, one of the things that, um, um, you can also use this for, um, relieving stress also a lot of times that can be what's blocking you from your spiritual connection this little guy is going to be nine dollars if you're interested in him and then the things i had inside of there i have a piece of clear quartz, a bracelet of clear quartz um, from zavia and that bracelet is twenty dollars i selected clear quartz because once again it's the direct connection to your crown chakra it's got that healing energy it's going to help you to augment whatever work you're doing with other crystals at the same time but it's really that direct connection to the higher cells and to the higher planes that you're looking for and this is why white quartz, uh, clear quartz is going to be really really great at that the other piece that i added in there that you can either add however you want to do it i have a piece like this uh, a palm stone actually just like this sitting on my uh spiritual um altar that I have. I have an altar like this spiritual healing altar up all the time. So um, I never take it down because I find it very easy. If I want a message, if I have a message to a spirit guide, I can put it in there and they'll get an answer. This is a beautiful piece of labradorite palm stone. Look at how much flashing this guy has. Lots of blues in there. Uh, lots of greens flashing basically from just about every single angle that you look at. Um, Nice and blue right there. But the reason why you want to have a piece of labradorite in your spiritual healing altar is because labradorite is going to open up the upper chakras. It's going to kind of power them up and enhance them so that all this work you're doing to connect with your higher self, to receive messages, it's going to help you to boost that and keep those upper chakras open and receptive. So this is the reason why I recommend this. Um, we just got brand new palm stone. So this is gorgeous from the new shipment we just received. And um, this one here is going to be only $20 if you're interested. Now, if you say, you know, I really want some labradorite, but I don't want palm stones. I also have these cute little hearts. Once again, I love everything heart shaped. So this one also has lots of flashing. Look at that. These are $18 each. Expanding consciousness. They fit great, perfectly in a small space, a small altar. Look at that beautiful flashing on this one. And here's the other one that I selected. Both of them, $18 each. This one's got a little bit more blue. Um, it's a little bit bigger, but not as much flashing on it as the other one has. But look at that. Look at all that blue, brown, beautiful, beautiful flashing. So if you want one of these, um, just say you want either the bigger heart or the littler heart. They're both, they both the same price. So $18 each, depending on which one, you know, which one you're interested in. Just let me know. Um, let's see. So let's talk about other items that I put up here for that. So up here, the other thing that I selected to add to this altar is a piece of polished lipidolite palm stone. So lipidolite is going, it's a type of mica and it's very, very flashy. The second heart, Trisha, you want the big one or the smaller one? This is the big one. And then this is the small one. So let me know which one you want, either big or small, and I'll pull that one for you. So let's talk about lipidolite. So lipidolite is a type of mica, and it works very, very much into, okay, I got you, big one. So I, we still have the little one available for anybody who's interested in that. Um, Mica, this lipidolite is going to work in your third eye chakra, but it also, it's going to connect your third eye to your heart chakra. This is one of the places where lipidolite shines. It can help you to also overcome uh, stress and anxiety, but I wouldn't work with it. I think if you're looking for something to overcome stress and anxiety, amethyst is going to be your best bet hands down, but this is going to be great when you're undergoing change a lot of change in your life and you're like, oh my God, what's gonna happen tomorrow? What's gonna happen next? And right now we are living in times of change. So lipidolite is a fantastic crystal for that. Um, it's gonna help you if you're an empath, 
to interpret information that you're receiving. A uh, great item for that as well. Um, sorry. Um, and so this is going to be, this one is going to be only $20 for this palm stone. Um, and it can be a great piece for um, all types of um, empathic and spiritual healing. And um, the next piece I want to show you guys is this one's back there, so you probably can't see it. Okay, this is a piece that I have this on my ancestor altar, and I also have it on my shamanic altar because this is an Orthoceras fossil. And this is a piece, once again, it's connected to that Mother Earth life, right? And so this is going to be a great piece for connecting with your ancestors, connecting with anybody, any spirits that you work with that have gone before you here. So there's a lot of different things that you can use this for, but it really is a powerhouse in an ancestor altar. And a lot of times when you're going through spiritual healing, you're calling on your ancestors to come and support you through that process. So that's why this piece here is really important. This one here is $12 and I have plenty of these. So if you say, you know, I want one, but I want one where maybe the, you know, the, the, Orthoceras here is smaller or larger or however you want, I can um, send you that. If you're also interested in this, but you can't afford $12, if you want to look at the $8 one, we have a smaller version also. Uh, and I'll be happy to send you pictures if you're interested. Um, and then the other piece that I included here is going to be this. I think I showed this a couple of lives ago. This is a smoky quartz flame. And I love it because of the size. Other, also, it's a very nice, clear piece of smoky quartz. And this is a piece that helps you to keep things in perspective. Smoky quartz primarily works in the lower chakras, but it does connect you with past lives. It connects you to ancestors as well. It also is fantastic for shadow work. So when you're doing spiritual healing, you're doing all of those things at the same time as well. So this is a piece that would support all of that work that you're doing. This little guy is only $40 and you're going to get 10% off and you can use Afterpay if you're interested. Uh, the other piece that I've brought in for you guys today is going to be a, um, oh, this piece here is going to be the show special. Sorry. Uh, this is a channel or crystal and you can see a channel or crystal generally is going to have these um, three um, triangles all around it like that. Um, and I'll be honest with you, I don't follow the crystal shapes very much. So I think Chandler is going to help you to connect to the higher planes a little bit more. But the reason I selected this piece, first of all, is clear quartz, obviously. But anytime you add that aura coating to any crystal, it's going to elevate that vibration. It's going to raise the vibrations of that crystal even higher from where they are right now. So this would be, and look at that, it's even got window. It's got a little window right there. Uh, window allows for insight into different things that you're working on or problems that you're trying to figure out. See if it's got any other windows. Um, no. Um, no other windows, but it still has the one window there. Great, great little guy. Um, and then, so the other thing that this is going to be helpful with is going to be, um, you know, you're trying to elevate and send those messages for help and for clarification and for clarity to the higher planes. This is going to be kind of like another thing that's going to boost that connection for you. So if you notice, when we build these altars, we include all of the things that are working for the same purpose in conjunction with whatever it is that we're doing already. So this little guy here is going to be the show special for you guys today. So he's going to be at half his normal price. There is no 10% off on it. So this is going to be, it's $130 normally, and it's going to be half of that. So you're going to pay um, uh, $65 only for this guy. There's going to be no 10% on top of it, but you can still add it to Afterpay if you're interested. This is a great pot price for a piece like this because these pieces tend to be pretty expensive. Um, obviously you can't have an altar talking about spiritual healing without having a nice amethyst. So I think I showed this the last live and I including it, I'm including it again because it didn't sell last time, but I think it's also important for doing any type of spiritual work. This is a beautiful, gorgeous, and look at that. It's got so much flashing in it. Um, little, uh, amethyst heart, $25 for this guy. And you're going to get 10% off on top of it. Um, you can see it's got, it's mostly not, there's not a lot of quartz in there. It's mostly just dark, dark amethyst, uh, which is great for anxiety 
It's great for healing stress, but it's also great to help you to interpret information that you receive through your third eye. And last but not least, I'm including a skull. This is a gorgeous guy. Look at him. He's so perfect. The detail on him is complete perfection. And um, he's going to be a bit, a bit discounted today in the show. He's not going to be his normal price, um, but he's not the show special. So it's not going to be a 50% discount. But this guy here, um, once again, remember, we talked about um, skulls representing the human experience. So if you are creating a healing altar for yourself, you would definitely, a uh, spiritual healing altar for yourself to keep it up on a regular basis, definitely want to have something like this on there because it's going to represent you and trying to understand and grow in this human experience that you're having right now. So this one here normally is $350 just for today. He's going to be $290, so he's going to be $60 off. And he's going to still have a 10% on top of it. And remember, you can use Afterpay if you are interested. Um, I also included a set of chakra stones. This is our display, but I wanted to include it so you guys can see what it is. These, these sets are $15. And they're going to have in there all of the crystals. And this is our display. Uh, all of the crystals that are going to help you work with every single chakra. So $15 for this little bag. And remember, you're going to get 10% off on top of it if you're interested. Um, and finally, let me show a couple. Oh, and I forgot the other two bats that I pulled or three bats that I pulled. So some of these are for healing and some of these are for, um, other things. So this would be for emotional healing. A lot of times emotional healing is about releasing. So this helps you to release negativity. It helps you to release all kinds of things that are maybe holding you back from doing that spiritual um, healing. And the bath salts are all going to be $16 each, and you're going to get 10% off. Here is a chakra balance bath salt. Um, this is going to have a piece of fluorite in it, and it's going to help to bring all of your chakras in line. And the reason why I put this in the spiritual healing altar is because a lot of times what happens is when our chakras are not in balance, they're not all connected, energy can't move through it. So you may feel disconnected, not because you are disconnected, but maybe there's a blockage somewhere in your chakra system. So clearing your chakra system can be a big help to keep, have, helping you to move forward. And the last one is going to be this bath salt for self-love. So once again, water ceremony, fantastic for all types of emotional healing. If you're trying to build a relationship with yourself, I mean, this to me here is a great piece. Bracelet to wear every day and the self-love bath. So you can do, uh, what I would do with this is I would do a bath a week. Really, while you're doing the bath, focus on yourself. What are you trying to heal? What are the parts of yourself you're trying to reincorporate? This is great support for either shadow work or for self-love work, both of them. Um, and then finally, I have three items and I, they're not associated with anything because I selected them because they really are all purpose and they can be used for just about anything. So the first one, is this organite um, rose quartz pyramid. And I like this guy because, um, uh, first of all, organite is gonna have the copper in here, which is going to be very, very healing. But this is not a full blown, so it doesn't have like the quartz in it and everything, and everything else. So basically this is just gonna have, in the resin, it's gonna have the rose quartz chips and the copper. So this is healing on, physical level, emotional, spiritual, mental, whatever it is that you need. This is going to be a great piece for that. It's only $25 for this big giant point. And plus, I think it's really unique and cool. So if you're interested in this guy, let me know. $25. I think I have two of them. So if you want one or if you want two of them, a lot of people like to use these towers like on either sides of their altar. So to have like, you know, both like this to kind of frame your altar, that's a great option. The second piece that I selected is, this is another flame. I love the symbolism of flames and hearts for healing. It just helps me to bring that um, uh, happiness and joy, that feeling back into it, which is very, very needed. So this is a flame. This is a golden healer flame. And this can really be used for just about anything that you want to do. Um, I love this piece. It is um, pretty hefty. Uh, how many grams is it? It is 490 grams, which means it is one pound, but it's still skinny enough and nice and tall that it can bring, um, it can sit on a small altar too if you need it. And this guy here is $120. He is triple A grade. 
and he is going to be 10% off and you can use Afterpay. And then finally, last but not least, I selected this. And I think that every healing altar of any kind should have a piece of amethyst in it, no matter what type of healing you're doing. And my favorite for that is Chevron amethyst. And the reason for it is because Chevron is going to automatically have built into it right here, the clear quartz, which is going to partner up and it's going to boost the properties of the amethyst on top of um, giving the healing properties of quartz itself. So this piece is so unique and I really love it. It's got some druzies, like it's got some right there. Um, it's got another one. Let's see if you can see the flashing in that. Can you see back there? It's got lots of little open holes that have druzies all back here. It also has a little bit of hematite in it. Um, this is basically Moroccan amethyst, which if you're familiar with it, it always comes in these strange shapes. And I just love them because they're so unique and different than just about anything else out there. Um, and so you can see like how the amethyst crystals even grew the way that they're in there. It's really, really pretty. So this is going to be best for healing work more so than, you know, opening third eye and things like that. This is going to be great for relieving stress, relieving anxiety, healing the heart, for providing emotional support, doing physical healing, and for providing all types of support to lose anxiety when you're doing spiritual healing. So it's an overall piece that would make a great, great piece to be in an altar. And it also has a protection. Look at this. You've got a stalagmite right in there at the very center of it. If you can see the way that it was cut. So if you guys watch that piece that I showed you yesterday in my live, The Witch is In, my piece that I had, my amethyst, also has that little heart, that little stalagmite eye at the very center of it. So this one has it as well. So I love these pieces that are so unique and different. If you're interested in this one, um, she is just over a pound, about a pound and a half, first grade, which is triple A, and she is $110. Beautiful, beautiful piece. You get 10% off and you can use Afterpay. So I'm sorry that I went a little bit over today, but that is what I have for you guys. Hopefully you guys saw something that caught your eye. Uh, I'm going to try to upload this video to Instagram. So if you are able to see it and uh, you catch it after the live, feel free to message me and ask me about something. Most of the sales we do on these things generally happen after the, the live is done. So if you see something that you want, make sure you message us almost immediately so that you can get it before somebody else gets it. I just want to make sure that everybody gets what they need. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining us today. I appreciate it. Remember, you get 10% off of anything here. If you want to order something, private message me with your email address and I will send you an invoice and then we ship it out. It's as easy as that. So thank you so much. And I will see you guys next week. All right. Bye-bye.